Water is the origin of life and the root of mankind. For dozens of centuries, people with different skin colors and nationalities have been exploring water resources for a better society. They have bestowed us heroic creations and legacies. Hydropower as a green and renewable energy brings us not only brightness and warmth, but clean power for industrialization and modernization. In the People's Republic of China, Oriental country with ancient civilization, there is a powerhouse renowned for spreading brightness to the world. That is Zhejiang Jingwen Electromechanic Company Limited. Entitled by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization as the base of world hydropower equipment manufacturer, Jinghua Hydropower Equipment Manufacturing Base of the company is located in the economically developed East Coastal City of Jinghua in Zhejiang Province. It is a tourist city which is awarded to be among top 10 most comfortable cities in China, boasting long history and rich culture. In ancient China, it was called Pass for Roads and Artly of Water. Now, it is one of the vital hinges of the national transportation, which takes only two hours to Hangzhou and Ningbo, with convenient links to many places of the world. This is a vigorous city of charm with a advantageous location, rich human resources, beautiful natural scenery, active trade market, and booming industrial economy. Thanks to the location, the base makes a perfect combination of proper time, geographical position, and support of people best to have owned the wings to fly. Zhenghua Hydropower Equipment Manufacturing Base was founded in 1958 as one of the earliest enterprises producing hydropower equipment. For more than 50 years, the base has been consistently sent power and brightness to the remote mountainous regions and vast rural areas by providing hydropower equipment. At the founding of the base, it sent horizontal pattern units with capacity of 750 kilowatts to China's Shuanglong Power Plant for the first time. And the unit was put into use on October the 1st, 1959. 